Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a GE dryer that's making a grinding noise when it runs, a loud squealing noise when it runs towards the front of the machine is basically where the sound's coming from. It's most likely going to be the front bearing kit on it. Once you get to that kit to check it real quick, it's, if it's already ground through, I've seen several that the drums have actually ground all the way through the kit and have ground through the metal door. You've let it run for quite a while. Uh, that's still fixable. You'll have to get metal aluminum tape and cover it after you put the new kit on it and cover it a few times. You may want to paint it white to make it look good again, but uh, you will have to patch it so it doesn't catch and snag all your clothes, but it's very difficult to do. Don't let it get to that point. If it's making noise, it's good to go ahead and change it off right off the bat. It's a whole lot cheaper because you can just buy little plastic pads and not the whole kit. So, these two, I already took these out, put these two Phillips screws, one right here, and one right here. After you take those two screws out, the top will come up. Pull it just a little bit, and it'll come out. And from there, you're going to lean it forward. I have those two more screws, one here, one here. I've already taken those two out. Take those two screws out. Pick it up, bring it to the left side. There's two wires connected, so don't pull those out. You don't have to, you can leave them connected. And here's the shroud, and it's definitely messed up. All right, this shroud, I'm gonna give you a here's closer look at it. Here's what it should look like. Should look like this side does. It's got little plastic pieces, and you see this one's already gone. Has gotten ripped off, probably worn through, and has pulled off. And if you keep going around here, you'll see where it's completely worn through the plastic. Plastic's gone, and the two plastic little pieces are gone. Now these little pieces, I'll pull one out so you can see it, look like this, and you can order just these, and if you catch it early, you can just replace all four of these, and you're done. And it's real cheap, you can probably get those for like 10 bucks, I think, or on Amazon. Uh, but if you have to get the whole shroud, it's not a huge deal. You can get the shroud and these things, I think, for 20 to $30. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this little button right here is going to be stuck underneath this. And it's just going to come down just like that. There's going to be one on that side. It's just going to lean just a little bit. And it's going to come off. And that's it. Real easy to replace. Not a huge deal. You just order another one of those. Sometimes there'll be a light in there. A lot of G's dryers don't come with light. And you'll have to pull the light through that little hole. But most of them don't have lights. Alright guys, that's it for this video for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up our video. And uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Hey guys, one quick note. This is the back of the drum. If you take it off, sometimes this is the rear bearing and very rarely have I ever seen them messed up. You can see them right there. It's not bad. This one's fine. And I think I've replaced one over the last couple years and I've fixed hundreds of dryers. But just so you know, there's also a rear bearing that could go out. You may want to take the drum out if it's still making noises and see if it's the rear bearing, but very unlikely. There's just three screws. You'll go from the inside of the drum, undo those three screws, and you can buy this whole thing in a little kit. No big deal.